chapter whatever Pasha and Safo Who is this mysterious Pasha? He's an artistic prodigy, brilliant writer, rock contour, storyteller, photographer. Got a best selling book going on worldwide. The Hippie History of Hashish. Yeah. He's on a book reading tour right now. Amsterdam. All those marijuana, totally legal coffee houses. Yeah, he does readings in those uh, hip coffee houses in Europe's most liberal city. Um, and, uh, but, uh, it's kind of getting on his nerves. He's got people following him around, wanting to autograph his book and he wants to get back to India for the second time refresh his spirit you back up to those Himalayas Kathmandu munch on some of those magic mushrooms oh Lang Tang Valley and then oh down to go most free free bubble for young people ever in the history of anything go yeah oh Well, um, he's reading in the Bullfrog uh, Coffee House. Got a huge bullfrog with uh, light bulbs for eyes, so you can find it at night when you're. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, okay, yeah, reads and yeah, everybody and oh, and then afterwards, uh, yeah, he signed a couple books. One for a guy named Silk and his uh, foxy girlfriend named Foxy. Uh, and they uh, hook up. They all want to go to Istanbul. Okay. And, uh, you know, like Silk, he's a big time, uh, in his own mind, hashish dealer from London. He's British. And, uh, yeah, backstage. Oh, he gets all those passes because he's got the good stuff. Temple balls of hashish from Kathmandu. Temple balls... As big as donkey sacks of it on their back. Foxy, well, just drifting around. Oh, um, grew up in Christiania. Our parents were hippies. Oh, Christiania up in uh, uh, Copenhagen. Yeah, mm -hmm. freaks uh, took over this old military barracks and made a, you know, hundreds of people live there. I loved going there. You just walk down the rows and, and the <laughs> Danish people have these little little spring skills. Achieve, 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 achieve. Yeah, you can go score right in the middle of Copenhagen. Fun place, Cappadocia. Yeah, they all hooked up. And, um, well, what about this van they're going in? <laughs> oh, yeah, we're talking uh, psychedelic 1964 Volkswagen van. And uh, Silk picked it up, just twelve hundred bucks from some freaks. Oh, they just come back from Europe in it. I mean, it's a road weathered van. You're going up the Khyber Pass, huh? You better have a bucket of water to keep that radiator from cool. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah, the van. Uh, let's have a look at it. it yeah, you know, it's parked right on Dam Square. Uh, Dam Square. Oh, it's the it's an icon of of Holland. It's where they first sunk uh, timber piles so they could get 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 above water. They're closely related. They checked the DNA of beavers and and Dutch people. Ninety nine point nine nine. The Dutch, huh? Why do they like poplar bark so much? Because it's easy to peel off the tree. Yeah, they dammed up everything. They called it a goddamn uh, country after a while. 14th century. Damn square. And what is it now? Okay, well. <sighs> the world hippies have taken over. Well, it's got these like real shallow, broad uh, kind of steps all around it. So uh, just throw your sleeping bag down. 
get out your three-stringed guitar, you could be a Greenland Eskimo. You might know it, not know it, but a Denmark uh, rules, Greenland. Lots of Eskimos. I mean, let's get out of the igloo and get some hash at the bullfrog. Well, yeah, all night long, party, hippie camp, flutes, tambourines, harmonicas. Uh, so, um, yeah, those Danish streets parked it there because it's just like so fun to be like right on the scene. Okay, and so like they just came back from India. Oh, look in the inside. Oh, it's just oh bamboo frame pictures of gurus. Uh, Nanak, first guru of the Sikh religion. Peaceful. Then I forgot the fifth guru they got out the sword. Huh? Um, Shivananda, a famous Indian. Yogi, I was just over at his uh, ashram in San Francisco next to Dolores Park. Yeah, Shivananda. He began the Woodstock Festival with kind of a hip, hippie prayer before Wavy Gravy pushed him off the stage and took over. Don't take the purple tabs. Um... Oh, Ramakris, no. You want to go deep? Without uh, scuba gear, you go down on uh, Ramakrishna. Yeah, I've been over to his ashram near Pondicherry, too. Then the Sri Aurobindo. Sri Aurobindo. Oh, that long white beard. Yeah, I lived at his ashram, too. Yeah. Oh. Mayor Baba? Sure. Uh, everybody's welcome. What well, Ram Das? Yeah, the West got a few gurus, too. Oh, he's with Neem Karoli Baba? Where's that tattered blanket, huh? Mm. Muktananda? Powerful. He's like Shakti Pod. He just throw a spiritual, like, micro spears into you, knock you on your ass. I mean, really. A few of those people picked themselves up and made an ashram in Oakland, California, dedicated just to him. You can go there right now. Get some used Shakti pod to go. Rajneesh. I mean, we're talking back in the day, no Osho or, you know, Rajneesh, Camp One, everybody doing everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, all of those. Oh, okay. In the back seat. Oh, back seat. <laughs> It's, all it is is a mattress, a uh, 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 wall-to-wall love pad. Curtains, oh, they're maroon. Oh, deep maroon from the oh, crushed de uh, desert roots from Rajasthan. Yeah, maroon curtains. And uh, the light coming through those uh, uh, maroon. Uh, carnal. Uh, uh, oh, uh, peace sign. Uh, splooshed across the um, hood. Uh, make love, not war, painted on the door. And, oh, but, you know, the grand mural. Okay. Capri Blue Sea. What's at the bottom? Neptune playing poker on a treasure chest. Gold coins littered all over the bottom of his macro aquarium. And who's he playing poker with? A dolphin. She's naked. Fish don't wear clothes. Humpback whale? No, you need security. Stakes are high. And a dolphin. The smartest mammal ever. I mean, the dolphin, she's, she knows all the odds. You, you put down a, a, a nine of clubs, and she just recalculates the whole deck in a microsecond. Oh, Islamic Crescent Moon. Yeah. Oh. Oh, damn square, huh? First dam on the Amstel River. <laughs> Amstel, Amsterdam, it's just all kind of mushed together. If you can stay out of the water, they're pretty good. 